Well, everybody, we're back in the shop today. It is currently negative three degrees outside. It's supposed to be a big winter storm coming. We're gonna get started on the Jeep, uh, take the, the links down, get the frame, ground down, all the paint, undercoating off. Uh, start working on mocking it up and welding up the frame stiffeners and plating the inside of the unibody to get the new brackets put on. We're doing pretty good here inside the shop. Currently at 59 degrees. Okay, you can see that the cross member's out. Kind of see how this thing was built. With the, the lower links, transmission mount. I ripped this off at one time with just this upper being welded to this 2x3 tubing. I ended up having to put this plate on here and this gusset over here on this side in order to strengthen all that up because it just ripped this right off the top. I think I was pulling somebody out in reverse and that leverage yanked this forward and it uh, ended up busting my front drive shaft when that happened. It changed the pinion angle. So to make a new one, We'll probably put the exhaust hanger on there, but it's going to be a simple piece of DOM tubing with two flats on the side is all it's going to do is support the transmission and transfer case. That's it. And we'll weld on those new brackets on the frame to support this upper and lower link. the brackets attached with some vice grips and some straps holding them up there but that's about where they're going to go so then I'll have to plate the frame or unibody like I did in the back here I'm going to do the exact same up there
right, we're gonna take a few minutes, let the welder cool down, duty cycle. Uh, you see I plasma cutted a section out. Tried something different instead of doing holes. I just made a large slot down the center of the 3 16th steel and weld on each side all the way down the center. And, uh, that, that'll give a good surface area and contact to the, the unibody on the Jeep. And then the brackets will mount that. there we go got the front all welded in the frame plate there the plan is to connect from there to there with a bar uh, maybe two by two square tubing so I can drill and uh, tap it or nut certs or something so we can uh, run a skid plate that way it'll just bolt right on and it'll help strengthen the way those two connect together on the unibody so that's gonna be it for now i'm gonna call it a day i'm gonna go inside and uh, i'll try to get back out here and do the driver's side that's just the one lower link since it's a three link front suspension so we'll get that frame unibody plated and uh weld all that together and get the other link on and see if we can't set it on the ground and get the ride height set pinion angles stuff like that so i'll be back maybe tomorrow All right, everyone, it's literally been weeks since I've been out here, since I originally started this project. Uh, so I fired up the diesel heater, warming up the shop, and uh, we'll try to get this other side finished. And 
maybe get it sitting on the ground. I'll probably have to tackle the transmission cross member probably tomorrow or a later day. But at least we'll get all three links mounted to the frame or do the body and uh, set it on the ground, take some measurements, maybe we'll check anti-squat, see what our numbers are in the calculator. But let's get started. Pretty sure I am out of wire currently. So let's take a look. This is kind of a pain in the butt the way this is set up now. Well, let's see. Let's tell you what, we're gonna go set this on the floor and we'll take a look. Yep. Out of wire. 035. I know I bought another roll, but it was the smaller. What is this? This was 10 pounds. The new one I got is 2 pounds. Uh, it's hard to find this stuff currently. Let me see if I can't find the other roll. Well, that was fun. A trip to tractor supply. I know I have a two pound spool of welding wire here somewhere. You know how that goes. I'll put it somewhere where I'll remember where it's at, right? And then you never remember where you put it. Also got a welding coat. So I quit burning up all my sweatshirts. So I'll get this wire in the machine and all threaded back up and we're just about 
getting done. So I'll be right back. All right, so you see we got this here stitched up all the way across there and all stitched through here, across the bottom of here, all sides. Can be kind of difficult welding to unibody because it's basically sheet metal and we're welding 3 16 steel to it so you got to try to keep your puddle on the 3 16 and then work it over to the sheet metal so you don't burn a hole through the unibody and uh don't always turn out the prettiest because you're trying to slowly move that puddle back and forth but It'll hold. It's not going anywhere. So we'll go back into a time lapse and we will finish the little bit of welding. Then we'll get the, the control arm up there in place, weld it into place, and that's about it. Here we go. That's gonna wrap up this video. I have to get some inch and a half DOM so I can bend up the cross member. Be seen in the little photos there that just a ratchet straps holding it up. Um, pinion angle looks good. Uh, there'll be a little bit of adjustment. I'll get the lasers out. Use a laser. Mark the center line of the Jeep, and then. Center of the axles already marked. I already have located those on both axles. And I'll adjust until we get it straightened out. <clears throat> For the next video, since it'll be quick and easy, I'll remove the driver's rear window. And we'll be putting this here. <clears throat> Affordable off-road uh, goes in the window and it's a compartment that opens up. And uh, like I mentioned before, that I was thinking about putting my fuel door in there. This also has a shelf that goes in there. This way you can uh, put your toe straps and any type of recovery gear that you might need. This is extremely heavy duty. Very nice. Um, probably come up with something different than these but these have just these threaded wing nuts and then there's a spot for a padlock here also but yeah it's an affordable off-road we'll be installing this next uh, and then i'll get some dom to bend up the cross member for the transmission and transfer case but uh as always thanks for watching <laughs>